Howdy, cowdies. How you going? Hope you're all right. I've been flat and knacker here at the collector. Weekly walkabout time. Got heaps of cool stuff. Little heavy cast metal Charlie Chaplin over the back. Little sort of Bakelite torch is pretty cool. It's a really nice 1980s French plastic jewellery, or sort of it's called French Bakelite online and stuff, but it's all marked underneath. Jalem Loire or something, Paris, this big red one is. Pink and black one's cool. Really like little 1930s Indian head brooch. These are really nice as well. You can't really see them. I can see through the screen, but there'll be better pictures online of this stuff. Two little sea heart um, buttons there that have been carved, sort of native Australian kookaburra and emu. Really nice. Over the back, Bakelite brooch with a lovely micro mosaic bracelet. A little tin toy of the dancing girls, pretty amazing. More good little tin toys, crocodiles and mice. Some more lovely little celluloid sort of brooches, 1930s, featuring all the woofer dogs. A little collection of sort of medallions, membership footy cricket stuff. Coca-Cola Esky bottle opener. Some lovely postcards, Angelo Asti ones. These are pretty cool. There's about, I think it's a set of three or four of sort of um, men dressed as women, which is a little bit interesting with some cool sort of um, text to go with it. Lovely sort of hand paper clips. Really nice ladies evening bag there with a Bakelite clasp. A little tin toy. Some more really cool postcards all featuring sort of women playing sport and steering the ship and stuff like that. A little salt set in the box is cute. Some more cool postcards of storks. More tin toys. Pretty amazing little lot this. The little perfume set in the original tin. A pair of Gucci Sunnies. These are funny little sort of heavy cast lead High-heeled shoes. Some lovely things in the jewellery cabinet this week. How what else have we got? Auto trolleys, picture frames. Pretty amazing little sort of hall chair with the carved bare backrest on it. These are lovely. Carved wooden um, the girls. There. They're almost sort of mermaids, but they're not. Uh, I reckon a little mirror would have gone in between them. Would have sat something sort of like this. With a little sort of oval mirror in between. There's sort of, as you can see, there's sort of stuff on the back where things have been before. I think that's where they would have been attached to a dressing table or something like that. It's really bloody nice. Uh, what else have we got? Cards, currency, heaps of costume jewellery, some nice sort of bohemian glassware, reproduction uh, padlocks, silver and other stuff, reproduction sort of motoring gear, coins. So we've got pretty china and stuff, some band shirts, motorbike jackets, footy jumpers, basketball, ice hockey, big box of kids toys, some box there's new Lego, more kids toys and sort of footy stuff. What else have we got? Heaps more sort of footy stuff and other gear in amongst this big group lot. A nice little lot, nice little sort of oh, boomerang, someone's got a bit peckish and chewed the end off it which is a bit of a bugger, that looked like it would have been a good bit. What else have we got? China, stamps, footy cards, Barbie dolls and her pals. This is Collingwood sort of 2010 Premiership gear. What else have we got? Stereo system, more stamps. Uh, this is all sort of oil lamp chimneys and shades. Another good little box of kids toys and stuff. Some good golf clubs actually in the bag. Pretty cool sort of retro rocket lamp there. We've put with another little anodized one. Typewriters, heaps more Barbie dolls and stuff, heaps of accessories to go with them. DVDs, China, 78s, The Scream. This is a pretty cool big cane trunk full of all sort of ladies' clothing and accessories, heaps of as new stuff still in its packets. Big box of DVDs. What else have we got? These are all pastel sort of paintings, sort of all after Gainsborough, including the good old skipper. Nice little chest of drawers. Pretty cool old BMX bike there, cool hand grips on it, some sort of little spikes or finials, records and sort of music related stuff, more records, APNS, nice little Gladstone bags and a pair of binoculars, big box lot of Playmobil toys, and so we've got a cool little sort of 1970s stereo system, these are all gramophone sort of cases with bits and bobs in them. Uh, cool lot of videos, Elvis, Def Leppard, <laughs> Kiss, all sorts of stuff in amongst the videos. What else have we got? Car stuff, an old sort of adding machine, big lot of books, cricket and sort of Australian. 
This is a good big lot. Three boxes of toys and comic books and stuff. And a nice little sort of tabletop gramophone. A little lot of fire sort of side stuff. The nice big copper bucket's cool. Really like this big sort of Baltic pine uh, settee. It's got like a lift up top on it. And then the bottom actually comes out with the legs. The legs are attached. So the bottom actually comes out and you can sort of use it as storage or you could probably keep someone inside there or something like that. Some more nice sort of cane baskety things. Lovely chairs. A little bit of pictures and prints. There's a nice little painting over the back there of the Dandenongs. Uh, what else have we bloody got? Pretty cool column. Big sort of classical Corinthian column type of thing, all carved at the top. Boxes of stuff and portable typewriters. Ladies' heels and shoes. Um, EP, some walkie-talkies, oil lamps, big collection of M&Ms. Some nice sort of door hardware here. Some Bakelite sort of handles and plaques and plates. Some nice little paintings this week. Uh, I think they're still being photographed. I'll show you them in a minute. What else have we got? Pretty cool, big sort of Japanese door over the back here. A little fire screen, Victorian tapestry fire screen. And this is a nice little sort of fold out Japanese screen. It's got little coat hooks on it that spin around. Lovely little thing. Really nice sideboard. These are pretty cool, a pair of the sort of carved wooden busts. More nice cane stuff. Like this little cane box with all the nice little clasps and stuff on it. This is an old cedar. Um, torch base. This is pretty cool. Captain Cook fire screen that someone's put a frame around, taking the legs off. Reproduction cast metal signs. Nice little pretty china set. Oz pottery, reproduction golden fleece, little repro cast iron staffy. Nice big collection of crystal. Oil lamps, old glass battery jars, reproduction cast iron knocker, nice Victorian china, another big Victorian platter in the nice big colander, another reproduction knocker, cool records, cassettes and stuff. This is a great box, this. All sort of action men and G.I. Joe and Mego dolls and Captain... Oh, I can't remember his bloody name. The CA guy's pretty cool little bit in amongst there. Captain Action, I reckon it was. Um, records, little Mercedes coupe. Manual and a cool little ideal motorific car to go with it. Some nice men's hats, tweed sort of deer stalkers and stuff. Chinese box tin toys, a couple of nice oil lamps. What else have we got? There's a nice sort of little rice bowl and a little sort of hibachi sort of stove thing missing the little metal insert. A couple of nice willow cake tin and a nice little bathroom cabinet with the mirror. More nice oil lamps. These cute little boat sort of lamp. Speaking of lamps, lighthouse lamp, more oil lamps, reproduction cast metal, little coffee machine's kind of cute, Italian one. Uh, this is a pretty cool little box set over the back from Bioshock 2, special edition. It's got all the sort of soundtrack and stuff from the computer game. Nice old English ceramic canisters, Australian pottery, a couple of bits of Diana, more Australian and sort of German stuff. Oh, it's actually Italian and German. That's Australian stuff in the corner. Also we've got more domestic gear, roller skates and banana seats, cast reproduction mermaid is lovely, Britain's toys, more toys, pirate flags, carnival glass and other stuff, more carnival glass, nice little Italian bowl's got a chip which is a shame, a couple of nice clocks, here's a cool little reprop cast iron bits but the skull's cool and little red, red back spider as well, didgeridoo and a nice little hand painted tile, This is a cool big lot, big lot of Victorian scraps. It looks like they're about to photograph, but I'll you guys will be able to see them pretty good. APNS looks like a bit of a wadgie over the back. Some really nice sort of 1930s, 20s, 30s kids sort of books and ephemera. Uh, nice little sort of funny little rolling pin there. It's missing the end on it. I'll take it. So it's got one end missing, but the other end's there. Put it with a nice little bit of Winton Victorian serving asparagus server. Uh, little reproduction skipping girl bits, cool. It's pretty amazing. Original pear soap advert there. And this is an original little mounted advert for what's this for? Condensed milk, Eagle brand. It's got all the stuff on the back. Really nice thing. Glassware, Victorian glass, little Ray Pop cast uh, money bank. A couple of nice bits of carnival glass, berries and butterflies. The other one looks like orange tree. Uh, lad.
Alejandro Nao, little boxing kangaroos cool. Uh, Staffordshire, nice pair of Victorian glass vases. Lovely old sort of milk bar jars over the back. Watch out for those bloody scraps on the ground. What else have we got? This is a good little camera. Nice little carved crumb tray with the bear. Lovely big Victorian charger, all hand painted. It's got a hairline crack in the back, which is a shame. Uh, nice little oil lamp, another lovely big confectionery jar. Cool little Skittles game. Victorian light shade. Lovely hat block. Godfrey, Godfrey's Melbourne. It's got the little mark on the front. Really like the poker work. It's sort of, you know, gum nut, gum blossom uh, little bellows. Some nice Australian pottery canisters. Kind of like this. Little Victorian sort of woven wicker basket. Lovely little thing. Victorian glass vase. A little bit of retro Winton with a nice little bit of retro Foley. Eric Jacket marked Epsilon Ware. Van, uh, Van Nichol, Tunstall. Hellfire pottery candlestick. Nice little Dalton Trio. Little two handled pots, probably a bit of um, Torquay Ware or something like that. English art pottery. That's the Ripper. Nice little original Lux Won't Shrink Wool. Little colour advert with all the details on the back. The nice little bits of the Italian ceramics. Little chicken toy over the back's a ripper. Nice little glass doorknobs. What else have we got? Little egg on a stand. He's pretty cool, the Chinese guy. Lovely bit of lights glass it looks like. It's probably been cut down we think, but Jesus it's a nice bit. Bit of Italian sort of 70s art glass. Nice bit of German uh, Victorian glass that glows under a UV light. What else have we got? Diana, gum nut gum leaf, lovely Murano va um, lamp over the back. And a nice bit of Murano the basket. And a little sort of ceramic woofer dog. He's a little bit like the HMV one, but he's not the one. He's just ace as he is. Eh, hang on a sec, I'll show you a couple of nice little paintings. Uh, what have we got? Audrey Snell, good little thing. Uh, I like this by Mark Clark. Untitled, nice little etching of a girl there, but dated 1960. Have a nice Audrey Snell oil. This is nice, the Amelia Phillips, I think her name is. Amelia Mary Phillips, little AM Phillips oil. Really sweet little bit. Oh, nice little watercolour as well. I think it's Max Barat. There'll be better pictures of these. I know you can't see them because of the bloody reflection and stuff. But yeah. You know me, I could keep talking shit for another half an hour, but that'll do. Hopefully we see you on Thursday night. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Should be a good sale.